Hello and good evening everyone. Live from Khargar here. Maharashtra Orange FC vs Sporting Club de Goa. An important game for I-League 2. Very important fixture. The promotion race is on. The title is at stake. The destiny of every club fighting for that top spot is hinged to these fixtures that we are going through in the next couple of weeks. Not many days before we get to see who is the real champion and who qualifies to the I-League for next season. Sporting Club de Goa, they are also in the fray. A joint name. They are back in the equation for I-League 2 and they are already fighting for it. Up against them will be Maharashtra Orange FC. Well, that's a different equation now. They are at the bottom of the table, but they'll be fighting hard as they did in the last match against FC Bengaluru United. We've got a couple of changes in both sides. So there's clear indication of what both these managers are trying to do. Let's first take a look at the warm-ups. This is Maharashtra Orange. Ready for the title. Ready for the tie, rather. This is uh, the first season for them in the I League 2. And they've got a great experience of what it is to play at this level. So they've not, a, they've, they've not had a great campaign, but they have still... A lot to learn. This is the lineup. They've got a couple of changes. Yogesh Kadam and Nitesh Monde. They have been brought in by Augusto da Silva. Mukundan in the goal. Manish Malayadri Siddha, the captain, along with Advait Rai. Sanchit Singh, this man. Keep an eye on him, along with Aymar Adam. These are the goal scorers for... These are the goal scorers for Orange Football Club. And eyes will be on them. Along with them are Joe Noel Dias and Zotan Puya. And that is the substitute bench. Ronaldo Fernandez and Sharad Kasare did not get that opportunity in this game. Ronaldo Fernandez along with Cueva Riva. Apology there. So these are the two changes uh, for Maharashtra Orange. Very important additions. And this is Sporting Club de Goa. The orange, the flaming orange, they are ready. They are raring to go after that wonderful victory that they got in the last match. This is their lineup. Antonio Dylan Silva in the goal, as always. Joel Colasso, the skipper, will be marshalling this lineup from the back. Joyson Regan Gaunkar, Kunal Keshav Kundaikar, Dira Chauhan, that makes up the defense of Sporting Club de Goa. Doel Alves, Biswakumar Darji. Ivan Costa, so that is the change. Ivan Costa has been brought in. Shelton Nixon, Klusner, John Manuel and Alistair Anthony. Keep your eyes on this man. Number 99 for Sporting Club de Goa. Has got seven goals already in the league. Joint highest goal scorer. Alistair Anthony will be very important. And their head coach, the famous Armando Agnello Colasso. He will be demanding performance from his boys because this is a crucial juncture and I'll be there with you now stage what's I'll be there throughout this action this is a mouth-watering clash friends Talking about the campaigns for both sides, well, it's been an even Steven campaign for Sporting Club de Goa, hot and cold, but now they are finding that rhythm once again. And that is important for them to find that rhythm because right now they are fighting for that title. And it's important to not mess up at this moment. For Maharashtra Orange, it's been a disappointing affair for them throughout the season. 
But mind you, they are a side that is capable of challenging any side that comes up against them. And that's what they displayed in the last match that they played against FC Bengaluru United. Well, FC Bengaluru United are proper title contenders. And they almost won the match against them. It was FC Bengaluru United courtesy of Ashley Alban Kohli who came back into the game in the stoppage time and they somehow managed to get that one point out of that game. Otherwise, it was an it was a famous orange win that was on the cards, but not to be. But today is a chance once again to play against another title contender and show them what they've got. That's what orange coach Augusto Wilson da Silva will be keen to do. Well, this uh, Cargill venue has witnessed some of the thrillers this season and some of the high goal scoring affairs as well. What will this be? We will keep an eye on this encounter. This promises to be a very interesting affair because both these sides have got something at stake, more so for Sporting Club de Goa because they are eyeing for promotion and title, obviously. It's a little tight up top on the points table. Very cluttered. Multiple clubs have got a chance. Sporting Club Bengaluru, FC Bengaluru United, Sudeva Delhi, Sporting Club de Goa and then Dempo Sports Club. All of these clubs have got a great chance to make it to the I-League. Though it is a little less important and a little less possible for sides sitting at the 5th position and 4th position but they are still in the equation and that's what is more important and that's why these games, these fixtures are really, really important let me tell you FC Bengal United are also playing today against United Sports Club at Kalyani so the result of that fixture will also have a huge bearing on the title chase Not much there is to differentiate between both sides. Last match was a phenomenal result for Sporting Club de Goa. And the defeated Sporting Club Bengaluru, who are sitting at the top of the table in a nail biter of a clash. It was a 4 3 result for Sporting Club de Goa. That is the confidence that they are coming in this game with. But they've got a worthy opponent in the form of Maharashtra Orange. They are not pushovers either. They will be keeping it very tight for Sporting Club de Goa. A sporting side that has got the experience, that has got what it takes to take all three points from here. But Maharashtra Orange, they are no pushovers as I said earlier. They have shown that they are at the bottom of the table but that does not matter here. All it matters is what they have got here on the pitch for the next 90 minutes. Do they have, do they have enough courage? to go out there and challenge Sporting Club de Goa. Take the game to their half. Can they do it? If they can, well, we are up for a ride here. All the customary photographs and pleasantries done away with. And we are almost ready for the action. It will be great responsibility on both the captains to lead their side in this fixture which demands nothing less than pure conviction. Both the teams have got to be at their best. Both the skippers Manish Malyadri Siddha for Maharashtra Orange and Joel Colasso for Sporting Club de Goa 
And this this is the referee unit. Ajay Christian will be leading his mates. He'll have the responsibility to command the players on the pitch for the next 90 minutes. It's been a great run of results for Sporting Club de Goa. They are coming at the back of a beautiful victory against SC Bengaluru. But before that as well, they defeated a formidable FC Bengaluru United side. And last time they played here at Kargar, it was a dominant victory against Kenkre. It was a 5-2 result for Sporting. And that's what they are riding high on. These positive results. That's why their morale will be sky high coming into this game. Armando Agnello Colasso, he is a known name. He is the veteran in Indian football and he's once again leading his side to an apparent glory. Can he lead his side across the finishing line? Qualification at stake. I League beckons for both these clubs. More so for Sporting Club de Goa. Battle lines have been drawn. It's important to get three points for both sides. Maharashtra Orange up against Sporting Club de Goa. First half kicks off. A throw in here, early throw in for Sporting. It will be very important for Sporting to get that early momentum. They have come as favourites in this game. There is no about that. There's no doubt about that. They are the clear favourites in this game. But football is not, not always about favourites. That's what makes this game the beautiful game because underdogs have always conventionally scripted great comebacks. Are we going to witness another such comeback from Maharashtra Oranj? Look at that. Look at that tenacity. Already getting on the ball. Sanchit Singh. Well, that man will be very important for Maharashtra Oranj throughout the next 90 minutes. He is the highest goal scorer for them. League's joint highest goal scorer. Seven goals. What makes this fixture really, really interesting is that there are two forwards. There are two mighty strikers who are going up against each other. Alistair Anthony versus Sanchez Singh. Both the strikers have got seven goals in their tally. So this is a match where these two strikers will come up against each other. This is Sanchit Singh chasing that ball, making that pressure on sporting player. Beautifully defended there, showing that perseverance on that occasion. Great football all in all. Throw in here for Maharashtra Oranj. Sporting Club de Goa getting back the ball. It will be so important for Sporting to get the control of the proceedings right in the early phases of the game. Because we know if you keep the score sheet very tight, Maharashtra Orange do have that capability to strike you out of the game. They almost did that against FC Bengaluru United when they got that 2 0 lead. Good seeing. Sanchit Singh and Aymar Adam, two consistent goal scorers for Maharashtra Oranj. A chip one. Jersey 99, Alistair Anthony, who's trying to play 1 2 with his teammate. Well intercepted by Maharashtra Oranj. This is a mess up. Shot away by Jersey number 13, but to no avail. Could have taken a bit more time. Yogesh Kadam there. He has been brought in into the playing 11 by Augusto Wilson da Silva. The manager knows his potential. Yogesh certainly had more time than what he realized. That's what you need. A striker needs to have that patience, needs to have that composure. Because that's how you hurt your opponents. You need to find the right time where you unleash yourself and unleash your strike. This is Maharashtra Ranch creating pressure against Sanchit Singh making the run. This is Sanchit Singh takes the shot. Great goalkeeping on that occasion. 
Antonio Dylan da Silva. He stands strong for Sporting Club de Goa. Denies that early effort from Sanchez Singh. Beautiful attack there from Maharashtra Orange. Absolutely incisive, interesting, mouth watering. That effort from Maharashtra Orange just needed that finish. Sanchit Singh is known for those finishes. Almost did that task on that occasion. Maharashtra Orange looking really, really positive. They are eager to take the game to opponent's half. They want to take that early initiative because they know if they give an inch to the sporting side, they'll make an a yard out of it. And that's why it is so important for Maharashtra Orange to keep it tight, keep the initiative with them. Keep the morale positive and mindset needs to be outward looking here for Maharashtra Orange because they are up against a very formidable sporting side. This is once again a great intervention in the midfield. That is Yogesh Kadam finding his teammate Harash Orange moving up once again. That's close number 22 for Maharash Orange trying to make space from out wide. Nitesh Monde. He is another change that has been brought in by Augusto Wilson da Silva. Heavy touch there in the middle of the park from the captain Manish Malyadri Siddha. But position back with Maharashtra Orange. This has been an impressive phase for Maharashtra Orange. Nitesh Monde commits himself. Possession still with Orange. Here's a cross. Great kill from jersey number 21. Aymar Adam shows his skill on that occasion. Aymar Adam is one of the prominent goal scorers in this Orange side. Along with uh, Sanchit Singh, he has been that source of goal for Maharashtra Orange and that's why these two players linking up with each other is so, so important and it's a good news for Maharashtra Orange that Sanchit Singh is back in the playing eleven. There was a little injury scar in the last game that Sanchit went through but Augusto da Silva will be heaving a sigh of relief that his marksman, his goal scorer is still there in the playing 11 providing an outlet to his teammates and along with him is Yogesh Kadam so Augusto Wilson da Silva has gone with two strikers this is a mess up here Joyce number 12 first sporting intercepting that ball Joyce and Regan Gaunker trying to make his way into the six yard box but great physical defending but once again given away the possession Good pressure there from uh, Sanchit Singh. Draws himself back, helps his teammates. Tries to deny that space to sporting players to make those passes and stitch three or four passes at stretch. This has been an even Steven affair in the first seven minutes of the game. Maharashtra Orange, they have shown that they've got that potential to hurt this defense of Sporting Club de Goa. This is Joyce and Regan Gaunker once again back on the ball. He is being shielded by Joyce number 20. Did the great task on that occasion. That was uh, Konjeng Bam Surendra Singh using his body really, really well and forcing the player to go out wide. to Wilson da Silva, Orange's coach, their gaffer will be happy with the start that his team has got and they have shown that tenacity. Whereas Armando Agnello Colasso, the veteran, the big man, he will be a little worried because they have had to show that presser in the first few minutes of the game and they'll have to absorb a little more, I guess. Accepted by Klusner John Pereira back to Joel Colasso. Colasso back on the ball. 
says Dhira Chauhan. Finds Kudal Keshav Kundaikar. Lovely bit of play there. Trying to keep the possession sporting. Very comfortable on the ball. Shluff, shuffling around pretty easily. Look at the space that they've got in the middle of the park there. Played out wide. Will be out for a throw in here for sporting. Looks like this will be an attempt to put it right in the six yard box. Not really. Joseph 23 on the ball. Here comes a cross. Too much on that cross on that occasion. No real danger for Maharashtra Oranj. It was a good little phase of play for Sporting Club de Goa. And Alistair Anthony acknowledges he knows that service will be very important for him. Alistair Anthony, he is a fox in the box. He knows how to exploit those goal scoring opportunities. But he'll need that service, he'll need those passes. That cutting edge incisiveness is needed from Sporting Club de Goa because Maharashtra Oranj can drop deep, can make it really tight for the opponent to find spaces. And that's why it will be so important for Sporting Club de Goa to find that creativity within them. They'll have to try a lot of options. Uncertainty, that's the name of the game. You cannot really let your opponent predict what your next move is gonna be. That's why that creativity is so so important for Sporting Club de Goa in this match. Because Orange, they are a resolute unit of defense. This is Maharashtra Orange. Once again finds themselves in the box, shot away! Straight to the goalkeeper. Antonio Dalan de Silva once again, easy collection for him. This is good. Uh, Arash Oranj trying to keep the opposition goalkeeper on his toes. Kunal, back to Dhiraj. It's been a good start for both sides, more so for Orange because they've got a few shots as well. And that is really good. You really need to want, you really need to get those shots away in the early minutes of the game to get that confidence and send those alert messages to the opposition defense that we are there. Look at the press, that's a relentless press from Maharashtra Ranj. That is reflective of the character that they always show. Yes, results have not gone their way on many occasions but they have never been shot on character they have never been shot on a fight and that's what we saw in the last match against FC Bengaluru United this is Sporting finally finding some options Kunal weighs his options back to jersey number 24 Ivan Costa he is another change in the roster of uh, Sporting Club de Goa, Armando Colasso has brought in Ivan Costa. He's a creative player, Ivan. He knows how to take on opponents. Meanwhile, Dhira Chauhan comes in. This is Kunal once again, making his run. Finds Gaunkar. Kunal looks for a cross. Easily blocked by Nitesh Bond. Look at that. Look at that tenacity from Sanchez Singh. Always in the face of the defender. Challenges Dheerat Singh. Now makes his way through. This is jersey number 13. Almost got it. Once again, Antonio Dylan de Silva, the savior for Sporting Club de Goa. Maharashtra Oranj consistently knocking on the door. But one man, Antonio Dylan de Silva, keeps his team in the contest and he is furious as it should be it was such an easy way for Sanjit Singh to find his teammate in the box a corner here from Maharashtra Oranj Sporting Club de Goa 
well their defense needs to wake up these are early warning calls here comes that corner oh that was an olympic effort but over the bar early encouraging signs for sporting club de goa rather maharashtra oraj because they have made a few great attacks so far in the game they just need to keep this going putting on the ball trying to find options from the out wide area once again a heavy heavy cross on that occasion well in the first few minutes of the game sporting club de goa they have apparently been on the back foot so this has been a great news for maharashtra oranj they have won the first 15 minutes they have been at the dominant side another throw in here for maharashtra oranj nitesh on the ball switches the play look at the way maharashtra oranj players are always looking for those outward passes those forward looking plays that's what makes you a great team always looking to hurt the opposition That's what football is all about: being positive. Once again, a chipped one this time around. This is Joseph number 16 makes his way into the box. Can he find his options? A little heavy pass on that occasion, but this is Joyson Gaunker. His cross parried away. Sporting Tish Bonde making his way, putting his body right out there. shot from distance that's gone out we'll have to see if that's a corner for sporting club de goa but they are making that comeback gradually in the game that's what colasso armando colasso would want from his boys they would not want to be on the back foot for a long time because that has never been their style sporting club de goa always ready to go up front they have not found that space so far in the game but this corner can give that sigh of relief for them can they find the back of the net with this corner trying a different routine delivery in the box no one really there out by maharashtra oranj danger averted sanchit singh look at him trying to find an opportunity to make that pressure or oh, sporting club de goa players will have to make a run this is not a great defensive transition for sporting finally they have managed to keep maharashtra oranj away from that 6 yard box it was not really a good defensive transition there were multiple oranj players who got a lot of space in that middle of the park but somehow finally correcting their mistakes sporting club de goa players making that tran transition defensively stopping orange players to make their way into the 6 yard box kunal kudaikar he has been very active on the right channel It's a heavy pass, a tussle, one by Sporting, back in, back in the position. This is Alistair Anthony looking for his options. Kunal, that was Alistair who was expecting an overlapping run there. Joyce and Gaunger once again finds Kunal. So, right channel has been the predominantly active. mode of 
attack here for Sporting Club de Goa. They're relying on Kunal and Joyce and Gaunker to make those overlapping transitions and exchanges. Linking themselves up with Alistair Anthony going up front. That has been the ploy so far for Sporting Club de Goa. But they'll have to mix things up. Otherwise, it will be too predictable for Maharashtra Orange. Once again, shot from distance. Not really too far from the bar. But that really shows the frustration. That is indicative of that frustration. But take a look at this mind-blowing opportunity that Maharashtra Orange had right in the first few minutes of the game. It was Sanchit Singh linking up with Yogesh Kadam. And Yogesh taking that shot away. But outstanding save from Dalan De Silva. It is so important for a sporting club to go out to find their grip. Because right now, they are getting overawed by Maharashtra Orange in the middle of the park as well. Look at the way Maharashtra Orange players are finding themselves very comfortable to shuffle along with the ball, move their players so easily uh, in the outfield. This is Malayad Risida. The Maharashtra around skipper trying to find Joseph number 20. Kojing Bam Surendra Singh. At the bottom of your screen, it was uh, Augusto Wilson da Silva, Maharashtra Orange manager. He was looking really animated on that occasion. Knows that his team has got an opportunity in this game. They have found that momentum in the first 20 minutes of this affair. They would not want to relinquish that momentum that they have right now in their favour. Well, this is a quick turnover. Alistair Anthony making his solo run. He is in the box. No more options right now for him. Keeps the ball. Takes that conservative option which is a wise option as well. And now more sporting players coming to lend their hand. Which is the play on this occasion? Jersey number 33, wise of him, Sir Shelton Nixon, a calm, composed figure in the mid midfield. Now, Sporting Club de Goa trying to keep that possession. But look at that pressure, and that's why Joel Colasso was forced to play this pass, which has resulted into a throw in. So that is the result of the pressure that Maharashtra Orange are exerting. They are not letting Sporting Club de Goa players make those passes. That's the good thing about the play that Maharashtra Orange have shown right now. First 20 minutes, this is the positive and key takeaway that they can have from this affair right now. Augusto da Silva would want to build upon this. Sanchit Singh making his way. Great defensive work there from Dheera Chauhan. Finding the right opportunity to put his leg and dispossess Sanchit. That's the work of a defender. How clean and how neat you can defend. That really decides your potential. And that's what Paolo Maldini used to say. Tackling is not the only parameter to judge how good a defender you are. If you have got an opportunity to tackle if that's the situation where you have found yourself in well you have made a positional mistake and that is the quality that every defender should have positioning right positioning that makes you defend smoothly without making any foul and that's what Dheera Chauhan did on that occasion so positioning will be very crucial for both the defense more so for sporting club de Goa because they have a lot at stake.
Once again, Kunal linking up with Alistair. Heavy pass on that occasion. Alistair not happy with that effort from Kunal. This time pressure from Joyce and Vegan Gaunker, but well dealt with by Joyce number 20. Konjik Bam Surrender Singh. He's a calm figure. Has got that air of calm around his play. Does the simple task. And that's what he is so good at. That's why he's very, very important to this equation of Maharashtra Oranj side. That's sporting player hitting the deck. Well, he needs some urgent medical attention. He is not looking really comfortable. That is just number 47. Cruiser John Pereira. The good thing is that he is back on his feet. It's such an important phase of the league. This is where the title will be decided. This is where the promotion slots will be decided. And that's why it is so important for every side to exploit that opportunity. Once again, another sporting player, meanwhile, hitting the deck. It was Joel Colasso, sporting skipper. His role will also be very, very important. What a leader does on the pitch that rubs on other players. And that's why Joel Colasso's game will, to an extent, decide how sporting club de Goa will go about their business in this game. Look at that pressure. Look at that pressure once again. It was Nitesh Monde. He has done a good, good job so far. Jersey number 36. That's what he has been brought in by Augusto Wilson da Silva. Knows he's an experienced customer. He will bring, bring that stability and that vigor in that midfield. He has done that task brilliantly so far in the game. In the first 25 minutes of this contest. Zotan Puya finds Prathamesh Kasari and he gets a throw in. A long throw in. This is Maharashtra Orange with a clear cut opportunity on that occasion. Was there a contact? Eventually, not really. We'll have to wait for the final result. Looks like there is a corner, but take a look at this. It was just number 13. Yogesh Kadam had a great chance to put the ball at least on target. But that was great defensive comeback there from Sporting Club de Goa. Not letting that space away to Yogesh Kadam. This is Nitesh Monde once again on the corner for Maharashtra Oranj. He delivers in the box header. That is in the goal. We will have to wait who is the goal scorer. But doesn't matter. Maharashtra Orange. They are in the lead once again. That's what they always do. This team has got that tenacity. This team never lets themselves down. What a goal. Yogesh Kadam. And Yogesh Kadam was brought in by their coach for this very thing. First goal for Maharashtra Orange. He is delighted. Orange team is delighted. And why wouldn't they be? Take a look at this. Perfect corner from Nitesh Monde. And then brilliant, brilliant header. No one really challenging Yogesh Kadam on that occasion. And he finds the net beautifully. Perfect result here for Maharashtra Orange. That's what they needed. First goal on the score sheet. Opener. We have already got an opener here. And Maras Orange once again leads. This is what they did against FC Bengaluru United as well. And now what they'll have to focus on is to contain this lead. How they can still remain in the lead for the rest of the game. That will be their challenge. But for now, they can rejoice. Because this is such an important lead.
Neeraj Chauhan with the ball. What about that fantastic header from Yogesh Kadam? The goal scorer, first man to hit the score sheet today. What a change this has been from Augusto Wilson da Silva. That man will be really, really delighted because he made a change in the playing 11 and his change has brought rewards for his team. Yogesh Kadam, as soon as he got his chance in the playing 11, he has justified his place with a goal, with a brilliant header to put his team in the lead. This is a free kick for Sporting. Out for a corner here. Sporting Club de Goa will be looking for an early and a quick response here. And they cannot afford to be trailing for the major part of this game because they really need to take those three points because they are so, so close to those promotion spots. Free kick, or rather a corner here for Sporting Club de Goa. Here comes his delivery. Out for a throw into Sporting. First half an hour of this game, clear cutting edge for Maharashtra Orange, already in the lead and that's what Sporting Club de Goa were trying to avoid, They're running, they were running a high risk and that risk materialized with that beautiful goal by Yogesh Kadam. Joel Kolasa on the ball finds his teammate. Uh, now this challenge becomes even steeper. Oh, that is shot from distance. Sporting Club de Goa. Can they make the most of it? Not really. But they've got a corner. What about that missile shot from Sporting player? Tested the goalkeeper Mukundan Ravi Kumar. He's still ailing from it. Malayadi Siddha is also on the ground. Not great signs for. Maharashtra Orange book and the Ravi Kumar has been really solid throughout this campaign. What a shot that was. We'll take a look at that once again. That was a blinder of a shot from sporting player. Almost caught the goal for them. Made it so difficult for the goalkeeper to preserve his goal. Take a look at that effort. And once again, after that, there was a chaos in the defense. Well, Maharashtra Orange will be considering themselves very fortunate because there was almost a mess up that could have proven really costly for them. They would not want to give away this lead that they have earned with such hard vigor it really tested the resolve of them in this contest and here's a corner for sporting away by Maharashtra Oranj easy clearance 
Liverpool Sporting once again in the position that is a heavy touch that will guide the ball out for a goal kick. How important this lead is for Maharashtra Kuraj. They'll be considering themselves not really lucky because they have worked for it. They've worked really hard for it. And they've consistently put that pressure on Sporting Club to go right from the word go. And that's why they've got that reward. The Sporting Club to Goa, they'll be looking to make themselves available for that comeback once again because they really need three points from this game. There is no other way around that they can vie for that promotion spot without taking three points from this game. There's, a, there's already a gap between them and the league leaders. And that's why a win is mandatory for Sporting Club de Goa. At the top of the table are Sporting Club Bengaluru with 24 points in 11 matches that they've played so far. Following them are FC Bengaluru United and Sudeva. Both these sides on 20 points. And pretty similar stats on the points table for both sides. And then comes Sporting Club de Goa with 19 points sitting on the fourth position. Five points adrift of the top. So they're still in the game and they'll have to fight hard for it. Sporting makes a cross. Alistair Anthony was waiting for it. A good defensive header on that occasion. This is Nitesh Monde. Finds his teammate. That is good work from Nitesh Monde. He has been impressive in this game in the middle of the park. That is Joel Colasso with a crucial header. Kunal Gundaikar. Finds Riga Gaunkar. This is Joel Simon 24 looking for his options. Plays a diagonal intercepted perfectly by Orange player. And there's once again a lo another long chip. Sanchit Singh. Trying to chase that ball. Joel Colasso sticking on with Sanchit. Making it really tough for him to get to the ball. Good work there from Sporting Skipper. And he is the worried man. Sporting Gaffer. That bench will be really tensed at the moment. They are trailing in a match. That is a must-win encounter for them. Kojing Bam Surendra Singh making himself available for that pass. Sporting players double teaming. And now finally Surendra got it. And a throw in as well. Street into the six yard box. This is good. Sporting not making it easy. Dira Chohan bypassed. And now finally cleared away but still in the box. Shot taken. And that is why. Alright, just number 96. Zothan Puya really not happy with that effort. Maharashtra Raj still tr trying to make their way through to six yard box and good work there from the defender. Putting his body right there, using his physical physicality to his advantage. And this Maharashtra Oranj bench, the staff will be so delighted with what they have seen from their boys so far in the first half. They've got a certain air of excitement around them. They've got an added spring to their step. They're making it really difficult for Sporting to negotiate. Look at that Yogesh Kadam's skill on that occasion. The goal scorer is really confident time around a long long cross all in all it's been an impressive display from Maharashtra Oranj the dressing room conversation will be so so interesting because uh, Augusto Wilson Da Silva has got his changes right whatever cards he has played just before the game he has got it absolutely spot on Yogesh Kadam was brought into the 11 and he has scored. What a match this has been for Yogesh Kadam and Nitish Monday as well in the midfield. On 
most of the occasions midfielders do get overlooked which is unfortunate but their contribution is very crucial for any team and Nitish Pandey there right on the screen you can see him strolling in the middle of the park he has done a great job for Maharashtra Orange bringing that stability in the midfield bringing that air of calm and making himself available to those passes around his teammates and that's what a midfielder does is again a long ranger effort trying to find Sanchit Singh gives it away to sporting club de Goa and these are the things that Maharashtra Orange will have to now avoid because they are in the lead and they cannot afford to give away this lead they did that in the last game It was a 2-0 lead that they had against FC Bengaluru United going into the into the uh, first 40 minutes of the game. But they could not really hold on to that 2-0 lead. And that resulted in a bitter draw. But that was a great show of courage from FC Bengaluru United that took away two points away from Maharashtra Orange can Sporting Club de Goa show the same character. Well, the last two matches really tells you something about Maharashtra Orange dressing room. There's still that self-belief. There is that character and that comes from the top. Augusto da Silva is to be appreciated for this. This is Kunal in the box. He was in an offside position. Gusto Wilson da Silva has done a great job, though results do not suggest the same. They are at the rock bottom, but the way they have played, the way they have given an introduction of themselves to this league, they are playing in the league for the first time, but it's been a great campaign. Not points-wise, you cannot really see that on the points table. But it's been a great learning experience for this club and they can go and build upon after the season with the takeaways that they've got over the course of this campaign and come really hard next time around. That's what football is all about. It always gives you that second chance. You just have to identify it. This is Mukundar Ravi Kumar again looking in trouble. Oh, this is harsh for him but that medical attention will give a little bit more time to sporting club de goa to recalibrate their plans armando colasso will be passing down his instructions what he thinks is not going right in this game for his boys and he'll be demanding course correction from his boys because sporting club de goa well they are contenders they cannot afford to go down against a team that is sitting at the bottom of the table on the face of it, this was a match that should have been a guaranteed win. But in football, there is a no such thing as a guaranteed victory. And Armando Colasso knows this pretty well. He has been at the top of everything. He is someone who knows inside out of Indian football. Has been at the top, has led Tempo to multiple titles, has got most number of league titles in India that's why Sporting Club de Goa have really taken advantage of his experience all the experience in the world he has given away that to his boys Kundan Ravi Kumar back on his feet. This is Alistair Anthony was chasing that ball, pressing the goalkeeper. And that's what tells you how important Alistair Anthony is. He is that powerhouse, always running into the defenders, always trying to test their metal. That's what a goal scorer does. 
that is why Alistair Anthony has been such a star performer in this campaign for Sporting Club de Goa with seven goals to his name. He will want to expand on that goal scoring tally. He will want to create a daylight between him and Sanchit Singh. That's a heavy, heavy challenge from Zothan Puya. He is lucky to not get a card. Just number 24 going to the ground. That was a heavy bodily contact there from Zotan Puya on just number 24. Ivan Costa. Five minutes added in the first half. Crucial, crucial phase of this game. Really important. Can Sporting Club de Goa script a comeback in the first half? If they can, they'll be going into the dressing room with a changed momentum. The dressing room chatter will be very, very different. This is jersey number 23 for Sporting Not Really. Jersey number 47 puts it outside and out wide. Mr. Kumar Darji and Kluzner John Pereira was try were trying to do something different on that occasion. First half, full of positives for Maharashtra Orange, but the game is not over. The game is far from being over. A lot to do here for Maharashtra Orange. One more half of game left to be played. And we know that in football, how important that is. You need to be at the top of your game right till the final whistle is blown. And Maharashtra Orange got that taste in the last match against FC Bengaluru United. When they conceded a goal in the stoppage time, it was Ashley Alban Kohli who tested their resolve for FC Bengaluru United and got away with a solitary point. Last couple of minutes left. This is Kunal, Sporting. Trying to make their way. Look at Sanchit Singh. He was trying to defensively contribute. And will that be a card? We'll have to see because that is a heavy challenge. It is a, another sporting player being fouled. And being fouled right in front of the referee. Right outside the six yard box. It is Doyal Alves. Take a look at this. He was really late. Manish Malyadri Siddha. Absolutely late on that occasion. Now, take a look at the position. Take a look at where Sporting Club de Goa have found themselves in. What a free kick opportunity this is for Sporting. They cannot get anything better than this. They'll have to make the most of it if they want to make a comeback. Direct effort. Grounder. Blocked. Futile effort there from sporting player really need to do better than this this cannot go on for too long Armando Colosso won't be too happy with the effort first half almost approaching to its end It is such an important fixture looking at where this league stands right now. Destiny of multiple clubs, not only one or two, more than that. Destiny of all those clubs are hinged to these fixtures that are happening in the next few days. Because first of all, their promotion to I-League is dependent on these fixtures and on top of that of course the i league 2 title that is also at stake so a lot to do for five of these eight clubs fighting in the league so far and some of them old names sporting tempo it's great to see them back in indian football fighting for that top spot this is sporting 
Great chance on the goal. Just on target. Not in the goal. What an effort. Mukund and Ravi Kumar take a bow. He was struggling with an injury but is standing tall. Take a look at that effort. It was at a comfortable height but it had that power. He had to be right in front of the goal and he did that task wonderfully. And that is a corner here for Sporting Club de Goa. So in the dying, dying moments of the first half, Sporting Club de Goa find themselves in a good spot. And Sporting Club de Goa can really make themselves equalize if they can exploit this corner. Corner opportunity. Sporting Club de Goa in the box. That goes above. Joel Colasso could not meet that ball with his head and that brings this half to an end interesting first half that has given the lead to Maharashtra Orange Sporting Club de Goa desperate to get themselves back into, into this game can they find that equalizer and another goal to take all three points we'll find that out in the second half first half action 1-0 in favor of Maharashtra Orange it's been a great 45 minutes of football so far. Very exciting affair. And stay tuned in to the stream to find out who gets all the three points from this contest.
back with the second half. So important these 45 minutes are for both sides, more so for Sporting Club de Goa because they are ultimately fighting for that promotion. Maharashtra Oranj do not have that probability. But this is Maharashtra Oranj, Yogesh Kadam, the goal scorer, was jostling away to find his way to the final six yard box and then to unleash that shot. But great defending on that occasion from Dheera Chauhan, I guess it was, made it so difficult for Yogesh Kadam to find his balance and then take a shot. So these are early moments of the game and already intention pretty clear from Maharashtra Oranj. They do not want to sit back even if they are in the lead. They want to take the game to Sporting Club de Goa. That's what the approach should be. Always keep your opponents on the toes. First half was a productive half for Maharashtra Oranj. They got that crucial opener and that lead has kept them in the contest. Uh, that is the card. Uh, that will definitely be a card right in front of the referee on Sanchit Singh. He knows that, uh, referee knows that this is definitely a card worthy tackle. Gusto Wilson da Silva keeping a close eye on the action. He will be hoping that this is nothing serious because Sanchit Singh, well, he is the marksman. He is the main talisman for Maharashtra Oran. Seven goals in the campaign and his contribution is very, very important in this game. He has still not scored the goal, but he is always a danger for the opposition. And that's why his presence on the pitch will be so important. He also suffered an injury in the last game against FC Bengaluru United and that's why he was subbed off as well in the second half. Well, Augusto da Silva will be hoping that he will not have to do the same thing again in this match as well. That was surely a rough, clumsy tackle. We will have to wait for the confirmation of this yellow card but that surely was not warranted at that time. These are the efforts uh, that really need to be converted if Maharashtra Oranj wants to consolidate their lead in this match. This was a good free kick. And they needed someone at the end of it to convert it and guide it towards the goal. Augusto Wilson Dasselo will be so happy with the changes that he made right before the game. And it is uh, once again Augusto da Silva who has made a change right before the second half. He has brought in Adwet and uh, plays predominantly in midfield. So it's a clear indication of what Augusto da Silva wants to do. Meanwhile, this is the confirmation of that yellow card. Ivan Costa has find himself in the books of the referee. And he'll have to be cautious throughout the rest of the game. Here's another cross, finds the sporting player. Goalkeeper Mukund and Ravi Kumar once again solid in front of the net. He is always there for his team, a savior. And he keeps the lead intact for Maharashtra Oranj. But what a cross that was! A delicious delivery right in the box, found his player, and then a header. But all in all, a good football. Once again, headed away. Maharashtra Oranj looking to clear that and has cleared that perfectly. Mukund and Ravi Kumar, that man is clearly the custodian in this game for Maharashtra Oranj. Not just the custodian of the goal, but he is the custodian of hopes for Maharashtra Oranj in this game. It was a great header. And Mukund and Ravi Kumar had to make that flying effort 
He did not have clear idea as to where the ball was going and that's why that contact with his hand was so important. This is Sporting once again find themselves in the box, cleared away and that is a corner. No risk defending there from Maharashtra Orange. Clearing the ball at the first instance. So Sporting trying to make some inroads. And this corner will be very important. Here comes the delivery. And that goes wide. That was a futile effort. First five minutes of the game, we have seen both the teams checking each other's resolve and trying to put the other team on the back foot. And that really shows the desperation on both sides because Maharashtra Orange they would want to double up their lead because they cannot rest easily without the second goal they know that similar thing happened in this last in the last game as well when they played against FC Bengaluru United they had a 2-0 lead and then it was squandered away at the end they would not want to repeat that mistake against Sporting here and meanwhile for Sporting, well, their life depends on this result. They are hanging by a fine thread. They really need three points in this game. Otherwise, their title hopes, their promotion hopes are in real jeopardy. This is Joel Colasso, Sporting skipper finds Adwet who has been subbed down just before the second half. Here's a cross once again. No one really there. That is a poor cross. Could not weigh that cross. Still in the game. And Maharash Oranj. They gave away the corner. Not really. Not really. A referee decides otherwise. Sporting player were really hoping for that corner. It's been a pretty exhilarating start to the second half. Very active, live wire, both teams trying to go on the offensive right from the word go. That is reflective of the importance that this result holds for both clubs. Let me take you through the points table at the moment. Sporting Club Bengaluru sits at the very top with 24 points in 11 games that they have played. And here's a news that is coming from Kalyani. FC Bengaluru United were playing United Sports Club at Kalyani. And the result of that game has gone in favour of United Sports Club. 5-3 is the result in Kalyani. And that result has made this equation so interesting. That will give a sigh of relief to each and every club fighting hard for that promotion stop spot. Sporting Club Bengaluru will be breathing a sigh of relief at this moment. Their four-point lead is still intact. At least till the end of this game. And then... FC Bengaluru United are still sitting at the second position. Now they have played 12 games. They have 20 points in their bag. And following them are Sudeva Delhi with 20 points and one game in hand. So that really gives an edge to Sudeva to take over FC Bengaluru United on the points table and close the gap with Sporting Club Bengaluru. That is also a good thing. It's a good news for Sporting Club de Goa as well. Because they have got 19 points in 11 games. And if they can somehow find to find to script a comeback in this game. Well, they'll have 22 points at the end of this game. So that will take them to the second spot. Closer to Sporting Club Bengaluru. So all the permutations and combinations are open. Five clubs in the fray. They're all fighting for that promotion. And that makes 
I League Two so interesting at this juncture of the campaign. Another throw in here. Meanwhile, for Sporting Club Bengaluru, this is Joel Colasso finds Adwaet once again. Rather, it was just number twenty-four. I would Costa, who is on a yellow card. Now let me remind each and every viewer. This is another call cross straight to Mukundan Ravikumar, and he will not get perturbed by any of those efforts. That's an easy collection for him. Mukundan Ravikumar is a boisterous figure, really commands his defense and lets his expression go out to his players, his teammates and makes them know what he's feeling because well it is so important for a goalkeeper to communicate what he's feeling with his defense because that's how you really bolster your defensive unit and Mukund and Ravi Kumar does a great job in that regard. This is Maharashtra Oranj with two players in the six yard box. That is great defending there. Dhira Chauhan dispossessing his opp opposition player and then Joel Colasso coming in support. So that's a great tag team defending from Sporting Club de Goa. Joel Colasso on the ball. Pressure, pressure, pressure mounting on Sporting. And and they have committed another mistake here. Throw in here for Maharashtra Oranj. That's a good thing to see from Maharashtra Oranj. Press is still on. They are in the lead, but they are still going and pressing the opposition really hard. What does that tell you? That tells you that they are relentless in this match. They have learned something from the last contest against FC Bengaluru United, where they squandered their two goal lead, and they do not want to repeat that mistake in this game. Adwet on the ball. He's got a lot of options. And now straight into the box. This is jersey number 10 for Sporting. Can he find his man in front of goal? This is Sporting trying to make their way in the six yard box. And Lloyd Cardozo was there was trying to find options in the six yard box and that is another late challenge from Nitesh Monde. Foul committed by the experienced Kastama. He has had a good game so far. First mistake from Nitesh Monde in this game. Take a look at that. On Adwet. Oh, that is really badly timed. Clumsy challenge from Nitesh Monde. He's lucky to get away without a card. Delivery for Sporting, headed away for a throw in. Sporting Club de Goa looking to keep the possession and maintain it. Trying for a clearance. Now look at that. Can they launch a counter here? Maharashtra runs. They had a bit of option and space as well. Now Sporting will have to make that defensive transition. Joel Colasso using his body really well and then again drawing that club the challenge again but not given away as a foul by the referee. This is Yogesh Kadam. Look at the work rate of Joel Colasso. Skipper stepping up for his side. That is the conviction and determination that every leader needs to show. And that really revs up the side. Gets your side galvanized. And that's what a leader needs to do. Joel Colasso up for his task. Showing what that armband does to you. Fantastic work rate from Joel Colasso. Coming all the way from far away to put his body right there and dispossess the opposition player. Here's Sanchit Singh was trying to make a run 
could not control that ball there was a little more weight on the pass that what than what was required on that occasion 60 minutes up we are into the final half an hour of this game and this final half an hour will decide the fate of a lot of teams not just these two sporting club Bengaluru will be keeping a close eye on the result of this game they will be happy with the result that FC Bengaluru United has got in Kalyani they will be thanking United Sports Club to preserve that lead that they have done for sporting club Bengaluru which has given them a breathing gap this is sporting heavy pass not the perfect contact this is jersey number 21 trying to make his way through the middle of the park he found himself in the crowd mr adam alistair anthony looking to shake and bake but could not do it perfectly on that occasion this is maharashtra orange once again looking for that opportunity it was a good interception Sporting Club de Goa have really waken up in the last 10 minutes of this game. Once again, advantage given by the referee. This is Kunal looking for options. Finally finds ailing teammate. This is Joel Colasso and Adwait on the ball. It has been a smooth ride when it comes to possession. The second half for Sporting Club de Goa, they de really need that final flourish. That was a bad cross from Jersey number 47. Klusner John Pereira really needs to take that responsibility. You cannot give away these kind of poor crosses when your team is dominating. When your team is dominating, you really need to exploit that and find that goal. They, because football is all about phases. There are phases when you dominate and there are phases when you have to absorb that pressure. And when you are dominating the game, you must make the most of it. And that's why champion teams are so great at it. Because they do that. They do that with perfection. They do not let their chances go away. And that's why they are called champions. And if Sporting Club de Goa has got a great legacy behind them, if they want to get back, to white at the top of Indian football these are the things that really need to be taken care of look at that chance once again it was another clumsy tackle from group number 16 if I was right on that occasion and Mukundan Ravi Kumar this guy has been playing throughout the game with an injury he has suffered and gone through multiple injuries in that game and uh, a lot of times he has needed that medical attention but he's still standing tall for his side because he's no he knows how important this game is for his side they do not want to end the season on a disappointing note and that's why they are putting everything that they've got that's what football is all about you really need to take care of small things you really need to put your heart and soul out there that is only how you can get those results we'll be hoping that his boys take care of the final 25 minutes in the regulation time this is a very tender lead. 1-0 is a very, very fragile lead. And we have seen teams coming and squandering away that lead. Joel Colasso looking for his options. Options goes long. Has he found Jules number 10? Oh, he was in an offside position. It's 
So Ronaldo Fernandez, he was there in the last game, could not find a place in the playing eleven for today's game, and he's replacing the goal scorer Yogesh Kadam. So this was the swap that Augusto Wilson da Silva did before the game in the playing eleven, and he has once again gone the other way around. But Yogesh Kadam, he has already made his contribution to this game. A brilliant header. The goal that has kept Maharashtra Orange in the lead. It was an outstanding header. And Yogesh Kadam will be happy with his effort. Augusto de Silva will be satisfied with what, what Yogesh Kadam has done for him in this game. He'll be going back to the bench. Satisfied about uh, his work rate, about what he has done in this game. And that is the confirmation. Ronaldo Fernandez in for Yogesh Kadam. A throw in here for Maharashtra Orange. We have not seen goals from the usual suspects yet. Sanchit Singh and Alistair Anthony. These two have been kept away from the goal. And we are still waiting for their goal. This is another harsh challenge. Inviting a foul and a free kick here for... Oh, not really. Not really. That is an offside, late offside decision from the linesman. Otherwise, it would have been a free kick. Maharashtra Oranj. In the box, can they find their second goal? Here comes across. Nobody really there to receive it. Orange created a great opportunity on that occasion. They just needed someone in the box to receive that final cross and guide it towards the goal. Here's another long one. This is jersey number 10. He has been subbed on by Armando Colasso. Could not find his teammate. Lloyd Cardozo was there on that occasion, was trying to find a cross and his teammate Lloyd Cardozo is an experienced player, he's a very talented lad and Armando Colasso trusts him. He has done some great job in the Goa Pro League as well and the sporting club the Goa, a lot of these players have done great tasks in Goa Pro League. This is Kruzner. Finds Alistair Anthony. Alistair on the ball after a long, long time. Trying to find his options. Here comes across. Alistair finds his shot going away from the goal. That's not the effort that he would have wanted to take. Alistair Anthony has not been given that service in this game so far. That's why he has found it tough find him for the sports here's a throw in for Maharashtra Orange long one in a bid to clear the danger for now defensively Maharashtra Orange they've done a great job They've kept the sporting club to go aside away from the goal, though there were some clear cut chances for the team in all white. But the resolve from Maharashtra Oranj made sure that they are still in the lead. Can they keep this resolve for the next 20 minutes and the added time after that? That will be the crucial determinant in this game. That will decide which club will take all three points from this game. This is Sporting Club de Goa looking really active, trying to find their options and play some quick passes in the middle of the park. This is Regan Gaunkar trying to find Alistair Anthony. He was crowded by Maharashtra Oranj players. Sanchit Singh trying to play his cards. Sporting Club de Goa 
if they can somehow find that equalizer well the complexion of this game will be turned on its head and that's why an equalizer is so so important and after that orange will also be under pressure here comes a cross can they find another option not really these crosses are coming into the six yard box but Maharashtra Oranja somehow keeping themselves in the contest. Danger looming large over their head. Sporting Club de Goa creating trouble for Maharashtra Oranja now. Stupid challenge here from Sporting Club de Goa player. There's another substitution with the duo. Jersey number 26 will be interested to see who will be substituted by him an interesting substitution coming on your way by Armando Colasso it is a Klusner John Pereira he was a little wasteful and Armando Colasso thinks Vidip Dua can give that sharpness to his playing 11 on the field right now Oh, here's the Chohan loses his balance and Sporting Club de Goa loses their balance as well. Their hopes are being crushed by Maharashtra Orange. Wow, what was that? An absolute shocker for Sporting Club de Goa, Maharashtra Orange. They have doubled up their lead. This is exactly what they were chasing for a long time. An absolute shocker for Armando Colasso this will be because Dhiraj Chauhan but that is an own goal Joel Colasso had the final contact before it was guided towards the goal what a shocker this is such a disappointing turn of event here for Sporting Club de Goa they will be so so gutted what has happened their world has turned on its head in all of this there will be just one team that will be very happy and that will be sporting club Bengaluru the table toppers at the moment now it becomes really difficult for sporting club to go out to find their way back into this game after conceding two goals it was such an unfortunate slip for Dhira Chauhan with that slip has the title hopes for Sporting Club Goa Sporting Club de Goa also slipped away we'll have to wait for it but that reminds me of Gerard this is such a Gerard-esque moment here in I League 2 Dhira Chauhan slipping and with him score sheet also getting troubled and there you go Joel Colasso the skipper with an own goal he will be gutted as well this is disappointing this is heart wrenching for Sporting Club de Goa they came in this match with the hopes of taking away all three points from this game and closing the gap with table toppers but things seem to be going the other way this is not what Sporting Club de Goa would have wanted when they came in this game. Kargar, well this venue is turning out to be a tough venue for all the touring sides. This is Sporting Club de Goa with a free kick. Danger loops large still and now cleared away and Sporting back in possession but the danger has been averted for the moment final 15 minutes of the game and we are entering that final 15 minutes with a 2 nil lead in favour of Maharashtra Oranj who would have thought this this was such an unpredictable result that we are seeing right now oh wait a minute tensions flaring up this is getting heated Vidip Dua has found himself in a little bit of an altercation Mukundan Nalikumar was already struggling in this game and he has now found himself 
in another troublesome moment. Maharashtra Orange in the last two games. Well, they are spoiling the party. They cannot go up, but they are making sure that not most of the teams can go up. So, so this is interesting. Maharashtra Orange making the most of the time that they have in this season so far. Oh, this was that dispute. Oh, that was not needed. Vidip Dua is so lucky to not get carded. That was so unfair of him. Mukunda Navikumar already got the hold of the ball and then he was thrusted upon by Vidip Dua, which was not needed at all. Hydration break will give some time for both sides to recalibrate. Especially sports for Cup de Goa, they really need to come up with something special. Otherwise, this is a done deal. here right along the sidelines another clumsy tackle well we have seen a lot of clumsy challenges in this game oh look at that once again Joel Colasso making himself available on that occasion and making his presence felt sporting club to go they have been a really physical side in this game This is Vidip Dua, who has been lucky so far because he has not been carded for that unwarranted challenge that he made on Mukundan Ravi Kumar. Armando Colasso would definitely not be happy with that effort. This game has turned out to be a disappointing affair so far for Sporting. The Flaming Orange, as they are famously known, they have now not found anything to be happy about. It has all gone away from them. Sporting Club de Goa would have come into this match with uh, the hopes of getting away with all three points. But the way it has turned out, this match has clearly shocked Armando Colasso's side. Here's Joseph number 24. And now Adwet. Ah, uh, foul. Foul from Zothan Puya. Right in front of the referee. You cannot do that. The referee was standing there and Zothan Puya made that tackle on Adwet. And that is a free kick. So these set pieces, they really need to be exploited by Sporting Club de Goa. Otherwise, they cannot make a comeback into this game. This season has been so important for Goan football. We have seen Goan Giants coming into the equation once again. This is just number 24. Was there a contact? Not really. Goal kick here for 
Maharashtra or Ranch. I was talking about Goa and football and why this season has been so important for them because, well, these established names in, in, in Indian football, Sporting Club de Goa, Tempo, they have found themselves fighting again for that top echelon of Indian football. And that is so important for Indian football because these teams from Goa, they have been that trailblazer for Indian football. Meanwhile, Maharashtra Oranj looking to triple up their lead. But Thailand De Silva anticipating that danger. Coming out of his position, collecting that ball perfectly. But there's still hope. There is still hope for these Goan sides. Sporting Club de Goa are at the fourth position and Dempo are at the fifth position right now in the table. Can they make it to the top two? That is the real question. So this season has turned out to be a dream season for both Goan football and Karnataka football as well. Meanwhile, this is Maharashtra Orange once again. Intercepted by Sporting. Dira Chauhan compensating for his mistake. Though it is so harsh to say that it was his mistake because he really did not know that he would slip on that occasion. But that's how football is. That's how sometimes life is. It's a great leveler. It is sometimes really cruel. You need to move aside. You need to move on from those disastrous events that happened to you. And that's how you can move on in life as well. Football is all about redemption. It always gives you a second chance to redeem yourself. Dhira Chauhan will have to forget that. I was talking about why the season has been so important for Goan football and Karnataka football. Because we see two clubs from Goa fighting hard for promotion and a couple of clubs from Karnataka as well fighting hard for that promotion. So it has turned out to be a perfect equation for both these states and these are so important for Indian football as well. Karnataka football in the last decade or so has done such a great work. They have been powerhouse conventionally as well and that also should be said about Goa because of course Goa and football well not a lot has to be said about them because we all know how important they are for Goa and foot for Indian football rather meanwhile a corner here for Maharashtra Oranj here's the corner flat one away by Sporting can they launch a counter? Maharashtra Oranj running the risk of conceding a counter. Switched the play. Multiple options going forward. But that is a crowd that quelled that attack. And Nitesh Monday, once again, that experienced and calm head in that midfield, doing his job subtly. That is, once again, a very harsh challenge. But the referee has now taken a notice of it. Sporting, they've got some great chances in this game, but the lack of clinicality has really turned out to be a menace for them. And Armando Colasso, well, the veteran manager will not be happy with this effort that his boys have put in. He would have expected a lot more because at this crucial juncture of the league, well, you really cannot afford to lose points. And dropping points at this juncture, well, that is suicidal for your hopes of getting promoted. But this season of I-League 2, it has been a revolutionary season for Indian football in a lot of sense. It is so important for these traditional powerhouse clubs to get back into the top echelons of Indian football, whether it is I-League or ISL. For that matter, we want to see these clubs fighting for that top spot. Tempo, Sporting, Mohamedan got promoted last day. 
it was uh, such a great sight to see Mohammedan getting promoted to ISL, another Kolkata powerhouse. And these clubs, they have been there for a long, long time. That's why their contribution to Indian football cannot be forgotten. And that's why we really need to see themselves fighting hard again for that top spot. Oh, look at who is coming on the pitch. Adil Khan, jersey number six. He needs no introduction. Armando Colasso has brought Adil Khan. He scored the goal in the last match against SC Bengaluru in the 85th, 85th minute. And now Rush Orange have also made one change. Koiva Riva comes in. So three changes in a quick span of time for both sides. They've got some Dempo fans here in the comment section. And good to see them. And good to see Go and Football Go and Football fans coming and thronging in. That's a great sight. It's a great sight for Indian football. We really need them. And we know that these clubs sporting Tempo, Churchill, even even for that matter, Salgaukar. Well, these clubs they have had a great fan base for a long, long time. And we really need that fan base to be revitalized once again. That will augur well for Indian football ultimately. Last few minutes in the regulation time here. Now this title chase, this promotion chase has become so interesting. With this result, Marash Orange FC have pulled out a shocker from their bag. Can they maintain this lead? Because we have seen teams coming and taking down these leads in the dying minutes of the game. So they cannot rest easy still. They have a lot to do in the last few minutes of the game. This is the confirmation. Liston Cardozo comes in for Joyce and Reagan Gaunker. Another long one. Adil Khan. Look at where he is. Adil Khan trying to receive that long one in the six yard box. He is a veteran. He is a veteran. Sporting Club de Goa have done a great job in bringing back this, bringing back these veterans in their fold. Adil had play, played for Sporting in the past as well. They just need that final flourish. Throughout the season, Sporting have done a great job. But coming at this juncture of the season, they need that final push. Because without that final push, all of these efforts will go into vain. Out. Out of the sidelines. Here's a throw-in from Maharashtra Orange. Jersey number 23 on the ball. Trying to look for options. It'll be interesting to see what Adil Khan will do in the rest of this game. Because uh, he has got that armband and he is strolling in the midfield. That's so interesting to see. He generally, generally plays in the defence. But he is a very versatile player. And 8 minutes have been added in the regulation time. A lot of time here for Sporting to still make a comeback. Can they pull off a miracle here? That's what it is all about. That's what we are waiting for. Maharashtra Oranj, they'll have to be cautious. The game is yet not over. Another injury concern here. A bit of time management tricks as well from Sanchit Singh. 
We have not seen a goal from Santhit Singh in this game. The joint highest goal scorer in the league along with Alistair Anthony. Both of them are in action today. Here's a throw in for Sporting. It's so important to discuss the ethos and culture of both these sides who are fighting for three points in this game. We must take note of the efforts that Augusto Wilson da Silva has put in. It's not really easy to tell your side that boys, look, we still have got a lot to fight for. They are at the bottom of the table. And it's not really easy to lift yourself up and go up against these formidable sides like Sporting and FC Bengaluru United like they, like they did in the last match. They are fighting for the title. They are fighting for promotion. Whereas on the other hand, Maharashtra Orange, they are fighting for survival. So these are the contrasts that we are looking at. And Augusto Wilson da Silva really needs to be appreciated for the effort that he has put in. And there must be a good culture in that dressing room because both these, uh, all these players in the Maharashtra Orange side, they've got that character. They showed that character against FC Bengaluru United. Same goes for Sporting as well. So they have not got that great result in this game. But don't forget what they did in the last match against Sporting Club Bengaluru. It was a 4-3 win for Sporting Club de Goa against Bengaluru in the last match that they played at Tilak Maidan. That was such an important result for Sporting Club de Goa. Well, both of them are Sporting. So Sporting Club de Goa. And it was Adil Khan who scored that winner for Sporting Club de Goa in the last match. So can we expect something magical here from the veteran Adil Khan? Out again for a throw-in. Sporting Club de Goa forcing Maharashtra Orange to get on to the back foot. This is Adwet. Out for a throw-in once again and that is a foul committed by Adwet. Referee taking note of it. We have seen a couple of cards as well in this game. That is reflective of how physical this game has been. Here's a long one. Switched sides. Good defensive work right there. If I was, if uh, it was, uh, I guess it was with the Dua, and this is. Alistair Anthony being unleashed on the run. Look at the way he's making his run. That's what Alistair Anthony is all about. He's a live wire. He likes to take on challenges. He likes to take on the opposition players and put them in a trouble. He has not been given that service in that game. That is the differentiator for Sporting Club de Goa in today's match. Alistair Anthony has not got in too many opportunities to put himself on the score sheet. This is uh, Jose Moretti. Finds his teammate Maharashtra Oranj in Sporting's half in the box. Jose number 9 finds the back of the net once again. How smooth was that? He is a smooth operator. What a goal that is! Fantastic piece of skill! And now, with this goal, uh, result has been sealed. 3-0 in favour of Maharashtra Orange. This is an absolute mauling here for Sporting Club de Goa. And they have been crushed by Maharashtra Orange. Look at how happy the bench is. They know what it took to get themselves into this position. We will wait for the confirmation of the goal scorer. It was Jose number 9. Well, he has done the job for Maharashtra Orange. Rinaldo Fernandez. He was brought in by Augusto Wilson da Silva as a substitute. And look what he has done. Take a bow, Augusto Wilson da Silva. 
whatever you have done in this game as a manager has brought rewards for your team whether it was about the inclusion of Yogesh Kadam in the playing 11 or whether it was about bringing on Ronaldo Fernandez in place of Yogesh Kadam so that swap has worked perfectly Ronaldo was removed from the playing 11 in place of Yogesh Kadam Yogesh Kadam was brought in he scored a goal and then he was subbed out and Ronaldo was brought back in and now Ronaldo has also scored that's a dream scenario that is an absolute dream equation for Augusto Wilson da Silva and Maharashtra Orange what more they could have asked from this game an absolutely exhilarating piece of display here from Maharashtra Orange stupendous that's how that performance has been breathtaking Maharashtra Orange at the bottom bottom of the table playing against a side which is fighting for the title and this is the performance that they've come out with and a shot at target by just number 10 Lloyd Cardozo and Mukundan Ravi Kumar once again standing tall so these are the two end of the spectrums that we have witnessed in this game Mukundan Ravi Kumar on one hand has been spectacular he has been a wall for Maharashtra Orange, whereas Antonio da, da Silva in the goal for Sporting has made a few mistakes. And that has really turned out to be expensive for Sporting Club de Goa. Three nil. What a result. An absolutely unbelievable and incredible result for Maharashtra Orange. This is something that they would have dreamed of coming into this game. They always had that potential. I said that before this game as well. They are a worthy opponent. I said this and they have proved me right. So thanks for that, Maharashtra Orange. They've done a great job here. Sporting Club Digoa will take lessons from this game. They've played all right. It's not been a shambolic effort from them. It's just that they have not been clinical enough. We have seen glimpses of brilliance from Sporting Club de Goa in this match. But at the end of the day, what matters is the score sheet. If we have got goals on that score sheet, that is the end of the day. You need not say much. We are just waiting for that final whistle from the referee. And the final whistle has been blown. What a spectacular result this is for Maharashtra Orange. Brilliance. Greatness. That's what this team has shown in this match. 3 0. And their manager would be so happy. Yogesh Kadam, the first man who scored the goal in this match. And then, of course, it was backed up by two more goals by his teammates what a result this is and this, what this result has done it has made the equation even more interesting in I League 2 Sporting Club de Bengaluru congratulations you can also breathe a sigh of relief after this result Maharashtra Orange have contained Sporting Club de Goa with a 3-0 result Ronaldo Fernandez, Yogesh Kadam and then an own goal from Joel Colasso helping their cause the Flaming Orange will have to go back to the drawing board after an incredible result in the last match against Sporting Club Bengaluru. They have had to suffer a crushing defeat here at Kargar. 3-0 at the end of the full time. Oh, what a match this has been. An absolute stunner of a game. Maharashtra Ranch would have come into this game with the hopes of taking all three points and now that dream has been realized it really needs a lot of courage to come up bring your best when you are at the bottom of the table it really is not easy and what Maharashtra Orange have shown they really need to take a lot of lessons from it good lessons because 
of course, these are good times for them. Last two matches, they have shown that brilliance. Take a look at the first goal from Yogesh Kadam. It was an absolutely stunning header. Sweet connection, guiding on to that goal and finding the back of the net, giving that crucial lead to his team. And then the second goal, it was an unfortunate goal where Dheera Chauhan slipped. And with this, with that unfortunate slip, well, the game turned away. Mukundan Ravi Kumar is another hero for Maharashtra Orange in this game. Not just the goal scorer. We really need to remind of remind ourselves that goalkeepers are such an important cog in the wheel. Take a look at the second goal. It was an own goal. Joel Colasso scored that own goal. And then it was... Uh, the third goal and that finally sealed the deal for Maharashtra Orange. This was that third goal. Jose number nine, Ronaldo Fernandez justifying his substitution and through the legs, Dylan De Silva beaten. And that brings us to the close, to the end of this game. A 3 0 result, comfortable win for Maharashtra Orange. Sporting Club de Goa will have to think a lot before they come out in the next game. Stay tuned in for more action from iLeague 2. Goodbye for today.